Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at my 2020 Mercedes E63 S AMG wagon. This car is one of one in its spec. Paint the sample in gold blue from Mercedes, optioned with carbon ceramic brakes, pretty much every available option for the exception of you know, a couple of small things. So let me quickly explain how I came to, to own this car. I had initially been hunting for one of these for about a year and they're so extremely rare that uh, every time I found one online, by the time I called the dealer, they were pretty much sold already. So I got frustrated. I ordered an uh, RS6 Avant from my local Audi dealer and I was patiently waiting for that car. I spec'd it very similarly to this car in terms of uh, options in the carbon ceramic brakes and the carbon fiber. I had ordered that car and about a week later, as I'm scrolling through Facebook, this car pops up on my feed on carsandbids.com. What I really wanted was this 20 in this Gulf blue color. This is a really cool car. There's not a lot of paint to sample outside the Porsche world, but that's what this is. The factory built the car in this special Gulf blue and it got great money. And this one annoys the heck out of me because it sold on the site. I really wanted it when it sold. And the buyer got it, and I think he's in Pennsylvania, and he made an Instagram devoted just to this car. And he tags me in every post, and it's like taunting me every time I see it. I'm like, damn it, <laughs> should have bought that car. It's just such a cool car. And this one sold kind of right before the market really took off last year, just it was starting to take off in June of 21. And I think it would be worth at least as much as he paid for it now, if not more. It's just a very special car. I love wagons, I love AMG wagons, and I really want this car. Every time I see it on Instagram, I have regret. Uh, I decided at that moment that I'm going to bid on it and you know if I get it I get it if I don't I still have an RS6 coming so I was pretty okay with that. Uh, as it turned out I bid and I won this car so I ultimately ended up canceling my RS6 order and then I went to Long Island to pick this car up. So some quick specs about it it's got a 4 liter V8 that puts out 603 horsepower 627 foot-pounds of torque um, it's formatic permanent all-wheel drive however it does have the option for a drift mode which sends 100% of the power to the rear it has the uh, AMG performance exhaust which uh, has the valves in it so according to your driving mode you can make the exhaust louder or uh, quieter if you so choose so this is comfort mode nice and quiet And I'm not sure if you can hear the valves opening and closing, but now it's in Sport Plus. As you can tell, it has the uh, carbon fiber package, so uh, the rear valance, the uh, side skirts, and the front lip are all carbon fiber. Um, and then as we'll see on the inside, it does have the carbon fiber um, all through the inside of the vehicle as well. I think that Mercedes did a really good job of putting on just enough without overdoing it. Uh, all in all, very beautiful car. Again, super rare as it is, but in this gold blue color, uh, this car gets a lot of attention, and I think it gets the attention that it does because of the color. Zero to 60 here realistically is gonna be in the mid to low threes. With the carbon ceramic brake package, you're also electronically limited to 186 miles per hour. You know, if you gotta take the kids to soccer practice, this thing will get you there and it will get you there pretty quickly. You get a full sedan, so you get plenty of room on the interior uh, and you get almost as much storage in the rear as you do in a midsize SUV. 
So it's really quite large in there. And as a family vehicle, I mean, it's great. Uh, road tripping in this thing is incredible. Very comfortable. You get all your creature comforts plus speed plus storage capacity. I mean, it really is great. Another thing I really love about this car is the uh, adaptive headlights. These are your running LEDs. I've noticed, especially driving at night, and where I live is, is there's no street lights, it's very dark at night. The lights do a very, very good job of, of rotating with the front wheels, and uh, it just makes it so much easier to see. The way that the automatic um, high beams work is when they activate, it, it's almost like a curtain effect. So it kind of opens up from the center outward, um, and it just looks really, really nice. All right, guys, so, Another thing I really love about this car is the brakes. These wheels from Mercedes are my personal favorite. I absolutely love the way they look. But really, the centerpiece here are the carbon ceramics, which are six piston in the front, four in the rear. They're incredibly grabby. Uh, and I know a lot of people say they might be a little bit vague uh, around town. I don't get that. They're very responsive. There's no brake fade. I never have uh, doubts in terms of this thing stopping. The stopping power on here is absolutely equivalent for the power that this thing puts out. All right, so here we are in the interior of the E63S AMG wagon. Um, and specifically here, I have the uh, carbon fiber package is pretty much everywhere in this car. Uh, we also have the custom stitching to match the exterior color. That stitching is pretty much everywhere. And we also have the dual panoramic sunroof. Another thing I love about this car. So, I've already demonstrated uh, what the exhaust sounds like in comfort and sport plus mode. So, when you start the vehicle, no matter what mode you end it in, it always defaults to comfort mode. And right down here, you have your dynamic select for your drive mode. In comfort, you can tell the suspension is set for comfort. The exhaust is nice and balanced and quiet. And then when you switch over to your Sport, you can see things get a little bit more intense. But right here, Sport Plus, that's when the valves open for the exhaust. The suspension becomes a lot stiffer. And then you also have your individual mode, which is fully customizable. So you have the ability to customize pretty much everything in uh, for your individual mode. So the modes are very customizable and they do feel very, very different depending on what mode you're in. And in that way, Mercedes really did a fantastic job with this car. The one complaint I do have is that this is not a touchscreen. It is controlled through here. Uh, you can also use this, this rolly wheel thing, or you can use these touch capacitive uh, buttons on either side here. And although it makes it pretty Easy to keep the screen uh, clear of fingerprints. I kind of still wish that this was a touch screen, but. Now I wanna voice a couple of uh, things that annoy me a little bit about this car. I understand that some of the things I'm gonna mention are gonna be very, very, um, it's gonna be a little nitpicky. So given the price point, um, there are a couple of things that irritate me about the car. You have the trunk open. If you hit the button on the key fob, doesn't close. So you actually have to manually come up here and close the trunk. I understand that that might not be, you know, the most inconvenient thing. But what drives me crazy is that if you kick underneath, it will open. If you kick it again, it closes. So why can't I close it with the key fob? I don't know. But Mercedes, that's annoying. So I don't really have many complaints about it, but the trunk Definitely one of the complaints I have about it. One of the other things that I do have to mention is that even in comfort mode, uh, this does ride a little stiff. Uh, now I'm sure that, you know, with a different tire, might be able to get some better results. Even in comfort mode, it is still a little stiff. Uh, one of the other complaints that I have about this car is the forward collision warning. It is too good in this car. One of the first times I was driving it, in order to avoid a car that was that was doing some hard braking, I had to do a quick lane change. And the forward collision warning system, whatever it is, 
worked so well that it literally stopped me as I was doing a, a lane change, right? So it kind of stomped on the brakes for me and almost caused me to cause an accident because the person behind me almost hit me. It works. It works too good to the point that I've basically had to turn it off for the most part. It, it breaks. It breaks really, really hard. The noises it makes, it just, nah, nah, I don't like it. I feel like it's a good feature to have, but I feel like it was almost implemented too good on this car. It's not all that great at making that decision and reading the driving condition, so it'll tend to just um, overreact a little bit. Mercedes really, really knocked it out of the ballpark with this thing. It's practical, it's incredibly fast, and I mean, it really is just a joy to drive. Anyway, uh, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, we had a lot of fun shooting the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. Thanks. Take care, guys.